Konnichiwa and welcome to Mischievous Tutorials. Uh, my name is Jalus and I'll be helping you through these tutorials. Today we're going to show you how to create this cool image effect which it looks uh, see-through. Um, there are some other effects that are inside this text but we're not going to cover that in this tutorial. Today we're just going to show you basically how to create this see-through text. Um, so this is an image that I created. Uh, this is, was one of my logos from like a while ago. Um, so the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to open our file. Um, right now I'm going to open the same file, but you can find you can use any file that um, you would want as a background, and then put an image or put a, a text, sorry, in front of it that will see right through. So you can see the image right through the um, the text. And so the first thing we want to do is now that we have this background, we want to duplicate this picture or this image. So you can hit Control J for the shortcut or you can just go to layer and duplicate layer. So now we have two of them. Now we're going to shut off the eye for this layer so that you won't be able to see it. Um, it doesn't even make a difference. And then the next thing we want to do is create a new layer. And uh, we want to create a new layer in between these. So instead of clicking the layer button, um, as this will it will if we click it it will go on top uh, we don't want that we want it to be in between you can hold command um, on the Mac or you can hit control hold control on the PC and uh, click new layer now we have this new layer now we want to fill that layer with a color um, a light color would be good so I've selected this light blue and I'm going to fill this new layer that we've created and now we see that there is nothing uh, now we want to insert our text. Now, um, when adding text, I usually use Impact. I have all these different fonts that I've downloaded, um, and I can give you the link to that site. Uh, you can look in the description. But I like to use Impact because it, it shows more of an effect, uh, because it's a lot fatter text. So if I was to type Mischief uh, Effects, uh, you can hit the checkbox to accept. It's a selection tool, and you can. It's up to you if you want to make it in the middle, or it's 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 totally up to you. Now, this is the the probably the most important part. Is now you want to hold the Alt button, A L T, or you can use the Option button on a Mac and hold Alt and go in between these two um, layers, the background copy and your new text, and it will show up with this little icon. This is the clipping tool, and what that does is that it will merge the two layers together. As you can see, the arrow shows that this background is now with this mischief text. Now, if we um, if we turn on this layer, you can now see that it's in the background. Uh, we already have this see-through effect. The only problem is is that if we were to delete this layer right now, uh, you cannot see any of the text. And the reason being is because it's there, it's just that it looks exactly like our background. So what we need to do is we need to change the effects for our text. If you select the layer and double click on the side, you can open up the layer styles panel or this, this box. And now you can play around with some settings. Um, the first thing that I want to do is bevel and emboss. And as you can see, it's already starting to pop out and that is such a cool effect that you can use. Um, you can even add you know glows and outer glow and it's already starting to look a lot more effective but you can also see the image uh, in the background. So you can play around with the different tabs and stuff that are on here. There's some awesome effects that you can play around with but um, that is pretty much how you can uh, make see-through text and make it look very effective on a lot of different um, images or backgrounds that you might want to create. Uh, thank you for watching. This is Mischievous Tutorials. Um, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next tutorial.